In August 2017, a transformational policy was launched. A policy to change Ghana's narrative from just a raw material exporter to an industrialized nation adding value to transform Ghana's economy. Three years on, many factories are in operation while many more are in the process of completion. Thousands of young men and women have been employed through this initiative. This is the story of One District, One Factory, a policy that is building the nation and spreading across the length and breadth of Ghana. The central region of Ghana was the birthplace of President Ekufuado's industrialization agenda. From ground zero, the Kumfi Fruits and Juices Limited was cushioned by government to initiate the industrialization agenda. The Kumfi Fruits and Juices Factory is yet another example of government's determination to promote the industrial transformation of this country. It was a day that the president admonished us to come up with a project that is going to be of a national nature uh, to lift uh, the people of Ekumfi out of the poverty and also to uh, put the name of, of Ekumfi up. This was a complete startup company. This is set in a rural economy. And through the 1D1F initiative, we've provided an opportunity to transform completely the rural economy of that district. And you can see how many farmers are engaged on pineapple uh, cultivation just to feed this one factory. In time past, all they did was to just produce the pineapple. The factory has come for them so that they can just grow their pineapple and send it to the factory, they get their revenue. I did be a market in here. So I am the way of the man, a man or a community. I bet him crying, and I bet him crying there. I love me a bit. We send me a man who cried a factory or home or that. Over for this kind of so above that. We created a lot of jobs in the area. Um, go to our farms alone. So far, we have over 400 people on our farms as we speak. It be a factory, what's the one you have to be? 8,000. On the main world, we have to be a yes, sir. Yes, sir, no, 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 yes, with hundreds of young men and women employed at various technical divisions, this world-class factory exports pineapple juice to different parts of the world. We are testimony to this fact that the idea that Nanado uh, initiated and is championing is actually bringing a transformation in the lives of people. Just an idea from an individual, from an individual can just change a life like that. In Tamale, the capital of the northern region, Moto King Assembling Plant, a factory under the One District, One Factory policy, is advancing the country's automobile production. The reason behind bringing this company to the north is because the northern part of Ghana are mainly farmers. And these products we bring to the north are also used by most farmers for transporting their farming uh, produce to wherever they are sending them for the market. When they bring the motor pass, we we'll bring the pass to the fixing site. We'll fix the ties, fix the front shock, bring the frames and fix it. We'll put the engine, put the seat, face, the canopy. The fifth position is to put the bucket. When we put the bucket, that's the final place and we will check it and give it out for sale. My name is Bumane Cynthia. I started working in LK International in 2019. I've learned how to assemble tricycles, both uh, diesel and petrol. We, the young boys, were not doing anything. We were sitting at home, roaming about. And when Moto King came, it helped us. It supported us in our financial Special, we, we those who are working here, at the end of the month, we'll get the salary, supporting our family and then our parents. Motorbikes and tricycles from this factory is exported to Ghana's neighboring countries.
the work we are doing to strengthen the macro economy of our country is not some paperwork. It is not talk, talk work. It has to do with creating the conditions for investment in our country. And so long as I'm your president, that discipline is going to be there in the management of the national economy. The exciting thing about these 1D1F projects is that they are spread throughout the country in different districts, in different regions, from the north to the south, from the east to the west. But it goes beyond that because it is also capturing new enterprises at the same time capturing existing enterprises that were completely demobilized and almost dead which have been resurrected. The story of Ayum Forest Products Limited, a wood processing company in the Ahafo region, tells the story of how government, through the One District One Factory Initiative, is reviving companies and factories that collapsed under the previous government. Mr. T. Eduma, 2001. Mr. T. Eduma, Mr. T. Until the year 2013, 14, 15, after the year of Mana collapse, we had two months, and two months, and Sunday at three hours a month, sick at the amount, two months, and Sunday amount, after the year 2015, the year, and a quarter near few. It was the backbone of uh, the Ahafo, Brown Ahafo region, especially Ahafo region. It, at the time, it had a lot of employment, especially people from outside and the uh, residents here in uh, Mim. In Tinabra, one of my dear, your my school, Sam, they are very dear, what time are they a grandpa? Yanto, in Tinabra, when you hear my pa. It was resurrected in 2020 in March through the policy of 1D1F uh, introduced by His Excellency Nana Ado Danko Ekufuad. In Tinabra, my Niji and my Hockey Council, so I share a human asset. The first day I remember when we finished doing our transport and then we tried to maintain our trucks and then we tried to even test it in the town. The anxiety and then the way the people in this region was jubilating as if uh, uh, all their problem is solved and indeed the problem is solved because we will say Ayuko to uh, His Excellency President for supporting this company for us to come. Today, Ayum has been revitalized, re-employing hundreds of casual workers who were laid off following its collapse in 2016. But beyond this also, you have cases of mass employment creation. If you take the garment and textile sector, for example, we have a signature company that employs almost 2,000 uh, people, particularly young women and then young uh, boys. And here we are producing garments that are exported all over the world, particularly to the United States under the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, AGUA. The story of One District, One Factory is not just about a government putting together state enterprises, but also about a government working in collaboration with the private sector to grow. Yedent is a Ghanaian-owned cereal processing company that processes cereal and looms into household brands and also industrial products. Yedent got into the 1D1F program in 2018 and through the 1D1F we were able to get funding or facilitation from Ecobank to fund the almost $2 million project.
In the Western region, Twyford Keda Ghana Ceramics Company Limited, a $77 million processing plant, has created jobs in the district. The factory was commissioned by President Ekufado in January 2018. We have recruited a lot, over 1,500 employees, which are local employees have been recruited. And out of this, about 78% are from the Western region. And out of these 78%, we have about 52% from the Shama district. This tells you that we have actually provided enough employment for the citizens of us, Ghana, and as well as the indigenous of the region. Muyo School was 2017. Now, Muyo now, I'm under one to six, one party. Company there by Waza or the Twyford. Now, Muyo School, I'm here to my apply. Now, I'm playing with you, I'm here to my company. I'm here to my company. I'm here to my company. We are not only talking about direct employment, we are also considering indirect employment. And with indirect employment, we have also engaged over 3,000, 4,000 people who also work for us indirectly as a company. And we think that putting all this together, the company has done a lot in bringing the unemployment situation down. And we say thank you to the government of Ghana for the initiative of the 1B, 1F. The operations of this factory has seen a significant reduction in the import of towels into the country by as much as 14%, contributing significantly to the transformation of Ghana's economy. In the Hojo community, in the whole municipal district of the Volta region of Ghana, this industrial edifice, Caltech Ventures Limited, a company operating under the One District, One Factory initiative is adding value to Ghana's cassava produce. As we know, cassava is a, a staple food in the country um, and there is um, a lot of cassava grown across the country. Particularly in the Volta region in which we are, uh, cassava is one of the produce that most of the farmers are into. Um, therefore, the sighting of Caltech Ventures Limited within uh, the Hojo community in the Volta region was to go further to tap into some of the produce that um, our farmers uh, come up with. Here you find, again in a rural setting in the Volta region, an opportunity to transform cassava, which basically is a crop that is widely grown but has not been given that much economic attention. But here in Caltech, you have an opportunity of transforming cassava into alcohol or ethanol, and then also into derivatives of starch. Initial financial support was from the Exim Bank, facilitated by the One District, One Factory Secretariat in 2018. To get raw materials and harvested cassava produce to the factory, good roads are today available. It is as a result of funding facilitated under the One District, One Factory initiative. Heavy duty tractors needed in ploughing, planting and irrigating are now available on farms on Caltech's 3,000 acre land. Today, outgrowers have enough cassava seed to plant as a result of a multiplication project that enabled Caltech to tremendously increase cassava seed material. Their produce no longer go to waste as a result of the existence of a ready buyer. And for these women farmers in Hojo, working on a Caltech farm and earning a living is their source of joy. I'm Mary Akofa Ziga. I'm from Soga Copper here in the Volta region. I'm currently in Carter Ventures Limited as a quality assurance officer. I was employed 2018 by Caltech. My role as a quality officer here is to coordinate fish stock from the supply chain to the finished product and to maintain quality in our final products. My name is Azuru Ebukari. I live in Bota Region Ho. I was employed as casual in Caltech in the year 2017. I've gotten the opportunity to be among the first cassava to ethanol production in Ghana here. 
that helped me to build my skills and experience within the past two years. I can boast that I'm also a quality assurance officer anywhere I go. Cartec and our one district, one factory, has helped me to learn a lot, which has improved on my life. And I'm, I'm thinking of by the next year, it will help me to get to a better stage, more than where I am today. By virtue of the one district, one factory, Caltech today is existing, it is very strong. Um, if Caltech hadn't been, I wonder what would have happened in this crisis when we cannot import the quantities of ethanol that we require. And therefore I believe that the One District One Factory has come in at a very good opportune time to ensure that as a country we are able to sustain um, ourselves, we are able to produce our own goods and uh, to be able to serve our economy. Under the automobile industry, the government has so far attracted four major global automobile companies, including Volkswagen, Nissan, uh, Toyota, and Sinotruck of China. We've confounded the doubting Thomases, and I'm happy to be here this morning to launch officially the first Volkswagen vehicle that has been assembled in our country. This is the, one of the few cases where Volkswagen in entering into a new country is producing five different uh, models and five different brands of Volkswagen vehicles. I'm confident that we in Ghana are on the cusp of a bold new beginning in our country which will repudiate our fast receding culture of failure. We will make it.